lähdetään vaan tota... Pistäkää vaan. Pieksee. Tossa toi ovi auki, niin laitat sahan toisikin This session was different from the previous ones, mostly because we did the whole album now in our own own studio, which is very convenient because then you can naturally do your own own schedules and timetables and you can record pretty much 24-7 if you want to. Uh, we recorded everything in our own compound. Um, did not use a, a commercial studio at all, so um, also the drums were recorded in an industrial uh, environment, which was really cool, I think. For some reason we always thought that drums have to be recorded in a studio that is meant to be, like, that is made for drum, <coughs> drum sessions. But this time we just tried to do it in our own big hall and and they turned out really well, actually. It took maybe three days for me to record everything, all the all the tracks. Uh, we were actually quite happy how it turned out, and uh, it sounded quite awesome. We didn't have a producer for this one. We we had a, we worked with Mikko Mikko Carmela, who was recording the whole thing, and then then Cal Karcher did uh, some recordings with Alexi later on. Go! Yeah, dude, that's awesome. It's almost over! It's almost over! Wow, yeah, it was totally fine. All right, Ollie, which one do you want to do next? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Yeah, yeah I did. It was late. No, me? I'm, it was one of you squeaky brothers. <laughs> oh, oh testing you. Mm. Yeah, I didn't late. go fucking squeaky Shut though. The fuck up! But oh, see how late I, 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 I was late it's on one him. of the. It yeah. was him. It's yeah. him. I caught up on the Damn. rest, but yeah. I still wanted to blame the squeaky brothers. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> it was the first high one. Okay. Uh, okay. What's cool about making a record uh, is just everything. The process to me, it's just so exciting. You know, when when all the songs are written and and uh, you know when, when they're finally done, it's it's just like I'm so stoked when we actually hit the studio and like you see, it's like ra raising a kid or something. I mean, what what the fuck do I know about that? But I mean, I could imagine that that's how it is. The gang shout vocals is um is always the 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 best part of making an album because you know it's just a bunch of guys getting drunk and shouting into a microphone so it didn't change this time as well it was the most fun part of making an album last night yeah got it yes. call okay. here last night all right ready yeah. last night it's over I fucked it up, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> no. Okay, and now let's do too low, and then let's re listen to all of these, and then we'll concur if it's What's okay the low? Or not. <laughs> Last time! Last time! Fuck yeah! Wow. No. So, do you want to add two more low ones, or just leave it? God, what do you think? Mm, we could add two low ones. Yeah. It'll make it yeah. fatter. Last time! Sweet. I always thought that it's impossible to have a good-looking cover in yellow and I tried to think of, of good-looking record, records that are actually yellow and all I could think was, was Primus. Then we found this artist called Tuomas Korpi and he made, made us a couple of samples and uh, we realized that it's gonna be possible to make a, a good-looking cover with only yellow. It's, it's like bottom but it's kind of like apocalyptic. There's nothing left, that the, the, the lake is dry, dry and all the woods have been burned. The legend says that there's there's one tree that it's marked with an X, and that's where the that's the tree that was the closest to the tent. But but who knows if it's only a legend? But now it's in like five of them, right? Or four? That's five. Five. Yeah. Okay. I, I would say on the second verse, uh, the the first bam bam ba. Whatever the fuck I'm saying, we'll do that and then do some bummer. Yes. I think Is so. there any more left? There's this. 
I, I do remember they recorded it though. Yes. Yeah. You've been on this trip before. I love watching. You've, you've been, been on, on this trip. Before. Yeah. You've been on. We'll do. You've been on, and then we'll do Suicide Bomber, and then we're fucking golden. Yeah. You got the paper out there to write. Uh. Yeah. You've been on. You've been on. You've been on. That was better. Suicide Bomber. Suicide Bomber. Oh, my bad. I fucked it up! Second time in a row. Okay. Alex, it's Jesus. okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not okay. Can, can you just play it one more time? Yeah. Yeah, that can be fixed. I mean, it's just like... <clears throat> it's just a little late. Yeah, I mean, it sounds awesome, but it's just a little late. That's yeah. All. Yeah. Lyrically, you know, I mean, there's a lot of uh, old school... They're made in old school CLB fashion in the sense that they're very aggressive. But there's a lot of stuff that people might find surprising, you know what I mean? And I'm actually, people already have. We, but in a good way, though. I think Morrigan was one of those. It was something different, what I've heard from Alexei, which is very good. I mean, uh, I like this. Uh, new ideas what he has like uh, on every album like something totally different it's a little bit slower but still it has this somehow like dark moody feeling Morgan's a goddess and the, the, it, the song is about a mortal man being obsessively in love with the goddess and that's that's just something different for CLB you know what I mean it's definitely one of my favorite tracks by the way. When the album was mixed, um, the song order was really tricky this time. Um, so I disagreed a couple of things, but then in the end we changed changed a couple of things around and now it makes sense but um there's a couple of odd songs and I, I think they need to be carefully placed in the track list so but yeah everything turned out turned out good everybody has their opinions on certain things but usually in the end everybody agrees what <coughs> what what ends up on the actual record i don't think there is any any riffs or any any arrangements that i didn't like like we agree easily when it comes to music but Obviously, there are disagreements sometimes, you know, when we are uh, making the arrangements. But, I mean, I do listen to the other guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. But sometimes, you know, there's if there's a riff or a melody that they just don't get, they're like, dude, that sucks. But but in my head, it's awesome. If, if it comes to that, then I, I'm going to put it there, man. I can't, I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> For the drums, it's always a little bit more stress because the songs are basically done usually right before the, the studio starts. So I don't have that much time to, to think of what kind of fills or whatever. I don't know how um, Mick got, got this idea to record that drums here. But anyway, it was a nice test and it really worked out. It was nice to hear uh, the the final mix because you could hear that if you needed to have like a big whole sound you could have it the thing is that you know i, I hear the whole fucking thing in my hair head already you know but they haven't like they hadn't heard the vocals yet and once they hear it with the vocals they're like ah oh, okay now i get it you know what i mean but yeah we we, we trust each other you know which is very important <laughs> okay then all right, you know what? I'm just gonna sing along with uh, whatever the fuck. Burr, yeah. Okay, this sounds promising. <clears throat> Let's just do it again. <clears throat> yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I recorded my parts uh, pretty much with the same kind of setup uh, in my home studio, except that. Um, Something I, I did differently is that I used more of the uh, uh, analog distortion thingies that I have 
I, I got them already while making the previous album, but I just didn't use them as much. But now, with the darker, darker moods and bits on the new album, uh, I used way more of the analog distortion. ESP guitars and uh, Marshall amps. I used to say Marshall that I uh, played on uh, Hello Blood. And, you know, it just works for me. Very simple, very uh, rock and roll. And I like to have that um, type of a sound, which is like very unforgiven. Better know your shit, better practice, you know? Because <laughs> if you fuck up, it, you'll hear it, that's for sure. I use my ESP basses that I custom made, four strings, bolt neck. I have two different tunings, <coughs> drop tuning and the normal tuning. Hence two basses, it's easier for the, for the recording sessions. I have my Ampec SVT amplifier and then I had my Sansamp guitar amplifier as a preamp. That's pretty much my basic setup and it, it works every time. Mitä toi venytys, että I'll get vai I'll get back? Sillä et se get tulee iskulle. I'll get! Yes. <laughs> Alright, number five. Jesus. God damn it, Rex. Please. <laughs> She's just a fucking front anyways. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on him. Uh, well, <laughs> no, the item. Uh, I'll redo that one. Jesus. Yes. Yes. I shit, I don't know about the worst part of making this all well. The company, whatever, somebody fucked up and me and Cal had to take care of taking the trash out. <laughs> so we were the cleaning ladies of the session. <laughs> Nah, it doesn't matter. It's all good. <laughs> and I've heard a lot of from my colleagues that they actually love love recording, but for me it's it's the it's the biggest pain in the ass. I don't enjoy it and I don't really know why, but it's something that I just don't like. I don't know what is the, what is the problem, but maybe it's maybe it's just the fact that when it's mastered then it's then the track is there and you cannot change it anymore. So you have to you have to be sure that you play it the way you want it to be there. When you listen to the mastered um, album, then then you realize that okay, this and this part could have been this and this way, but maybe you just have to lay with it. It's it's hard for me to find anything negative about making a record, but you know, shit gets frustrating sometimes. You know, like if I'm doing guitar solos or something, and I I just can't nail it down. You know, a lick or a, a picking thing or whatever. And I, I would just do it over and over and over. And I, I, I just, I go fucking crazy. I go nuts. I start screaming and cussing and throwing shit. Well, that was pretty fucking retarded, <laughs> at least. <laughs> Want to hear it? Yes. But then again, once you do nail it down, even if it takes 50 takes, you're like, oh, fuck. You know, it's, it's, it's a pretty awesome feeling, you know? The most interesting part of the whole thing is that when you actually start to make the new songs, when you gather the first times at the rehearsal place and you start to jam the new riffs with Alexia and with, with the other guys, when you hear some new melody first time or some cool riff the first time, it's always as exciting as, it's, as it was the first time we ever did an album. And then, you know, some weeks later you have 10 new songs and it's quite an incredible feeling that somehow they just you started from from scratch and then then you have a you know, whole album. It's very 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 exciting to me. Okay, that's the idea. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Yeah. That's, that's right. Let's, the, end it, yeah. let's end it. Let's end it. Yeah, exactly. Chaos! Everyone's fucking
even complain they're losing their voice, but that's. I mean, now you're all fucking opening up. Mm. Like, Jesus. I think we should do all of them again. Yeah, yeah. 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 everything. But I love we. No, we gotta redo that. I, I said love me. Was that, <laughs> was that a fucking Freudian slip or something? I don't know. No, we love you. I don't know. It's, oh, you do? Yeah, oh. yeah. I absolutely fucking love making records and it's a lot of hard work man you know it's it's just insane everyone gave their uh, 110 percent man you know it was a little bit stressful time for me because uh, i was just about to to start recording when we were talking uh with robert that he's no longer in the band um but that's life but anyway it went good you know once we hear like a finished song and how, how good it sounds. It's just like, it, it's the best feeling in the world, man. That's all I can say. 